What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome back to my story. So, it is the semi-final day for the Olympic qualifiers with Fiji. But before we go into that, before we go into the game, I want to talk about Geylang International. So, I finished the season with them. We lost 1-0 to Tampines. We had a red card, which apparently shouldn't have been a red card. Uh, I actually wasn't looking at the screen when it happened, so I didn't see the incident. But I spoke in the press about how I wasn't happy with it and I felt it shouldn't have been a red. And uh, the FA was silent about it, so... I was correct, they were wrong, and we shouldn't have had a man sent off, so it was a poor refereeing decision. They got a penalty from that red card too, they scored that penalty, they ended up winning the game, Tampines, and they won the league as a result. So they won the league off the back of a poor decision. Before that sending off, we were actually the team on top, we had about four shots, one on target or something, compared to their two or three, we were dominating possession. We looked the better team, we finished the season with a 4-2-3-1, we looked quite good, I changed the tactic up a little bit, and it was working for the first up, well, up until the red card, it just, obviously, it's going to be harder with 10 men, and we never looked the same from that moment on, so, disappointing way to end the season, it means we finish the year going on a five-game not winning streak, the previous win coming against Home United, in fact, since I've been here, we've only won three games, so it's not been a fantastic start to us, our career, it's not been a fantastic time, a start to our time at Geylang International, hopefully we'll turn it around next season, I've sort of assembled a squad here, that will, which will be my plan going into next season, basically if every, all the players that I want to get rid of, or some of the players I want to get rid of, for example, uh, Palmer, Maguire's definitely on his way out. He will not sign a new contract with us. So once these two lads leave, this is the and a few others as well. This is basically the squad that I have going into next season. And you can see some glaring deficiencies in the side. The fullback positions, the goalkeeper, the centre mid, and the left attacking midfielder position. And then also in terms of depth, we have no centre back depth at all. So it's it's gonna be a lot of building over the summer. That's that's obvious quite clear. But I think I might be, or I might have overhyped the issue with our fullbacks. I don't think our fullbacks are as bad as I think they are. And the reason I say that is because I've been looking at the Singapore national team. And I've been looking at the fullbacks they play there. Daniel Bennett, he's a 41-year-old left back, centre-back that they play at left back. The right back is a centre-back. The fullbacks we do have are not very good. I just think there's a very there's a lack of quality in those positions within Singapore. And I don't think there are fantastic Singaporean players in that position. And the reason I say that is because, yes, I could use my foreigner spot to put a left back in, to get a right back or something. But I just think it's a transition period. I think everyone in the league is going to have weak fullbacks. So do I want to go out there and get fantastic fullbacks that could help the squad? Yes, of course. But I don't think it's... A bigger priority as I'm making it out to be. Now, if we can get a fantastic left attacking midfielder, that could be the difference between scoring, you know, a couple goals or creating a few more goals into the season. I mean, you get a, if we get the right left attacking midfielder, a good one, that could be 20 goals added to the team. And you can see Ferran and even Asman, who I brought in, they contributed four goals between them in the entire season. There's not enough creativity within the team right now. Uh, Seberin actually finished third highest goal scorer in the league with his 10 goals. So we have the striker, Applin as well, seven assists, six goals. We have the center attacking midfielder. We don't really have the wingers that are contributing enough going forward to really be proud of. So that's where I think I'm going to be using my four in the spots. Now this could obviously change during the off season. This could it depends on who becomes available, who I see out there. But I see myself really in trying to improve the left attack and midfield position specifically. The goalkeeper, I do think we need a new goalkeeper. Razik has been at fault for too many goals in my opinion. So I will be looking to bring one in probably over the age of 23 or 21. Uh, so he'll be an older player, but I think he'll, he'll benefit the squad just having a, a better defender there. We'll be looking to strengthen up the depth in numbers in the centre-back position. And probably if I were to focus on one other position, it would ideally be the left-back role. But again, it would mean we lose a for we lose a, um, a youngster in the team, so we would have to try and compensate elsewhere. But I have two foreigner spots to fill. I'll see what's out there. I see what quality. I know for a fact there are some quality defensive midfielders out there. There's a quality centre striker out there. So I could even change this formation up a little bit. I've currently got a 4-2-3-1. I won't go into the tactic too much right now because it it will change over the offseason. That's no doubt about that. But we could drop one of them centre mids into defensive midfielder and pick up this fantastic defensive mid I saw on, on, on a free transfer right now. 
we'll have to see how things go. But I do think there's a making of a good squad here. I do think we have the ability to go forward next season and do way better than we have this year. Seventh in the table, not really good enough. A little bit off the pace between sixth place as well. We don't want to be in this position next year. We want to be, at least I want to be seeing some sort of improvement. It's our last year of our contract. I do want to try and do something here. If I show sign, if we, if I can see signs of improvement, I may sign for, may sign for another year. If not, I may just have to move on because maybe I just have to write off Gaylang International in the Singaporean League. Not for me. But we'll see how that one goes anyway. On to Fiji. So we are into the semi final. And let me go into the match preview. We are going to be playing in front of 17 people. Calm down. I mean, we don't need a rushing to the ground. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to play 73 people. Cinema is under 23s. We're the first kickoff out of the two, so we won't know who we'll be playing until a little later on. We have to make these changes to the starting lineup. We're going to start with Bruce Hughes up front. For the Wacker in, in the uh, other striker position, obviously, because of the injury to Joseph. Khan as well returns, but I do wonder if I want to play Khan. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop... Ratukava, who hasn't played well at all this tournament. If I sorry, I'm on selection info and this is all club information. I need to make a screen for internationals. But if I look at the international selection, he's not played well. Khan hasn't played particularly well, but nor did his replacement. I so I think I'm gonna go back with Khan just for now. Hughes has put in Well, Hughes didn't play particularly well, but Dayu scored. So we'll start with Dayu. So we'll make two changes to the strikers. And like I say, Bale didn't play well. Quio got an assist, but the, quality, the difference between this lad and the one we're playing is fairly drastic. It, 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 you can see the difference in quality. And plus, he's got nine cats for the for the senior team. I'll keep Bale in, but I'm not too pleased with his performances. So, yeah, this will be the team we'll go with. Uh, let me just go back again one more time. So, we have uh, Na Nayuka. I can't pre I'm not even going to run through these lot because <laughs> I can't pronounce most of their names. But this is going to be the team we'll go with. You can see it here. Oh, sorry. This isn't the formation. This is the formation we're going to go with. This is the team we're going to go with. And, um, yeah, let's uh, let's go into it. I think we've got the capabilities of getting a result here against Samoa's under-23s. Go into the dressing room. Hand over to the assistant. And let's go. Big chance to get our second final in what will only be our 22nd game if we do get to the final. Or we'll be dropped into the third place playoff, which I won't put on camera. There's no point fielding a, a, a third place playoff. It's a pointless game. But Samoa have got through here. And it's a fantastic save from our keeper. He did one in the previous match. And he's done one again there. Done one again there. <laughs> if I can get the words out. Oh, and a, a corner that's not dealt with as well. So, it's been a... Uh, it's not a great start from us, but we'll, we'll hopefully we'll, we'll see how things go. So they just, they're going to play it short. It looks like they are they're going to play so, to, to try and choke out possession or try and gain a lot of possession. They've, it's a shocking ball forward, and we're going to play quite deep as well. I don't even know what they're doing. They've just let us. They've invited on the pressure. And it's a long shot. Fair play. He's in, he's in his right to have a dig from there. I think personally, but hopefully he won't do it too often. Come on, I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit nervous. I don't I, I don't know much about. The Oceana teams and also it's the under 23s. There's no real way to judge how good the under 23s are for each nation. There's no good way to judge how good the youth in each nation could be. They could be low ranked in the world, but have a fantastic youth system. As they've got a ball in, can't get the head on it. Some good attack. I'm going to have another chance for a ball in. It's found the far post, and Bale has stumped that one in on the volley. Was that on the volley? Either way, he's thumped it in. We are 1 0 up nine minutes into the game. And it's, that was some nice play from both down the right wing originally to get the first cross in and down this left down wing. Nadu has probably been one of the players of the tournaments for us, but Bale with a thunder shot proves his place in the team. I was, about, I was about to drop him, so he needed a performance if he wanted to play in the future game that we're going to have. We have a set piece here. I think, um, no, I think, this, no, yeah, I don't know who this guy is. But my, <laughs> I don't know who you are, mate, but you've just, curved in a free kick. I thought Bale took the free kick, so um, the striker that didn't play in the previous match, Vodawaka or something like that, I thought he took my free kicks, but wow. Is he the centre-back? He's the centre-back. Maybe that lad needs to be playing further up the pitch, because that was a beautiful free kick. 2-0 up against Moa's under-23s. We are playing well. They haven't had an attempt since that one big ball over the top, and even from the highlights, we've seen that they're struggling to play out the back unless they've changed that now. Sammy heads it away. No penalties, please. 
No one's closed down the man. And oh, fuck. I think there are too many penalties in this game. I swear to God. I've had a penalty in my previous match now. And a penalty in this match. Tamua with the chance to get his team back in it. And it's a great save from the keeper. He's tried to do a double save too. He's got two solid hands to it. And then jumped out for the ball anyway. All right, come on lads. This is it. We've two goals up. We've stopped a penalty from them. We've saved the two clear-cut opportunities. Keepers on it. Wingers look like they're on it. Which this should be our game. Oh, another long shot. They are dropping very deep against us, which means they they must fear us. We must be a better team than them because they they're just giving us way too much time on the ball. And I think this is something I'm going to have to really look at going into the New Zealand game. Because we're not going to be the team to be able to do this against New Zealand's under-23s. I know for a fact they're going to be better than us. Uh, I don't know how much better than us, but I know they're going to be better than us. So I'm going to have to try and figure out a way to find a balance. Because obviously I want to play quite deep, but we need to be engaging people. Which is something this team aren't doing right now. And that's resulted in the third goal. Nezal with a thunderbolt of a shot from outside the box. Beating the keeper. He's near post. Probably got to blame the keeper a little bit there but also like i said the midfield look no pressure on our left back absolutely no one closing him down finally they do which creates space for nazel to take a first time shot into the right hand side of the goal and that is us into the final i don't think tomorrow are going to get back into this game at all i'd be really surprised if they did in fact i'd be infuriated if they did uh does anyone need to come off tiredness or I mean you're looking complacent we'll take you off we'll bring on Thomas Dunn I don't think he's played since the what second game we'll make that substitution we'll keep Dunn in a defensive role Samara have had two clear opportunities and two half chances that is worrying because we can't be giving away them chances to New Zealand who I'm just assuming will get through I'm not gonna lie obviously they will play later but New Zealand are the best team in Oceania and they normally win everything. I mean, Tahiti did win something obviously a few years ago. They ended up playing in the Confederations Cup, but New Zealand are normally the big dogs in this part of the world. There's Sammy with a ball in and Dawa, Deo, I think it's pronounced, with his second in two. Again, I feel sort of vindicated by playing him. Both right midfielder and him were sort of, did I want to go with Hughes, didn't I? I went with him and it's, it's paid off. He's scored another goal, and everyone's over a 7 rating now. Even the substitute we made, it ended up with a 7 rating. So, we've it's been probably our best game of the tournament, and it's just before we've gone into the biggest game of the tournament. A second penalty? Are you for real? What is it with this game? That's three penalties now in two games. Two in two in one. Will Mallow score? He does. Keep it goes the right way, but he can't keep it out. I'm, I'm really annoyed with the penalty there. Didn't even look like a bad challenge. Like, you know, sometimes you can you can sort of see in the 3D that it, you know, oh, yeah, that's a bad tackle. But didn't see much there. Two penalties in one game. Come on, give me a break. Wow, and Bale's just walked past his man there. And he's still walking. No one's closed him down. And that is Deu's second of the game. What a fantastic... Bale is just on it today. Bale, or let's see if we can pronounce his name. Drocker Drocker? Bale Drocker Drocker. So good they, they named him Drocker twice. <laughs> Fuck knows. <laughs> Either way, that is 5-1. We really have saved our best to second last. We, normally you save your best till last. Uh, shit, I'm a bit worried about the final now. What kind of performance will we put in? This is 6-1. Wow, we are running riot. Six? I definitely didn't see this coming into the game. Right, we're going to take off Nadu. We're going to bring on... Sumaki, and we will take off Bale's on a fantastic game we'll take off Bale we'll bring on Quio just because why not rest him up for the final make sure he's not injured we will need a bit of creativity down the flanks if we're going to play against if we're going to beat New Zealand done looking complacent it's fine no, it's the substitutes look complacent it's fair enough we are 6-1 up we have won this game emphatically really two penalties and apart from the two penalties that we gave them and the shot in the first third minute in the first three minutes of the game they they didn't didn't really have a, a big threatening chance and so we move we march on to the olympic qualifiers oceana final meaning we're one game away from winning it one game away from getting to the olympics themselves this has been this has been a, gr a great game so far. And there we go. New Zealand absolutely smashed Papua New Guinea. 
3-0 penalty to start off their scoring. We'll play them in the National Stadium, which is a 19,000 capacity. I assume we'll get about 24 people in the ground. And, yeah, I think it's it, it's time to definitely start thinking about this sort of tactic. So, maybe defensive wingers. <laughs> I'm going to go, I might go with a 4-5-1 actually against New Zealand. I might change it up a lot. Uh... I'm going to have to go away and really think about this because New Zealand are a fantastic squad and we will have to be at our very best to beat them and hope that they are not at even their mediocre le- a mediocre level because they are a fantastic team. Look at the value of their players. 500k, 100 plus k. Where do these lads play? Wellington Phoenix, you know, the New Zealand team in the Australian leagues. Uh, James McGarry, who is from playing in the Dutch league. Singh playing for, playing for Bayern Munich. Wilhelm, another one from Wilhelm 2. Wilhelm 2, sorry. Who are you? Wellington Phoenix, again, the New Zealand team. Scunthorpe. People have all got caps as well for the national team. We are coming up against a very, very strong New Zealand under-23 side. And we, they play a 4-4-2. I'm, I do think, hmm... I don't know if you can just go over flat 4-4-2 against them. I'll tinker around with the formation. I'll see what I want to do. I'll talk you through it in the next video. But it will be another final. It will be our second final in 22 games. Will this one end a bit happier than the than the first one? I don't... I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet on us. <laughs> but until next time, guys. Peace out.